Hi, no, Pastor. Wala. Good evening. Uh -oh. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are yeah. you? I'm great. How about you? How are you? I'm, I'm great you. also. Excellent. Very good. Talking in English, right? Uh -huh. Estaban hablando en inglés o en Spanish? Carmina. English and Spanish. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the class, everybody. How do you feel? This is the last week. Are you ready for the final exam? Uh huh. Are you ready for the last exam? Yes, yes. or no? Yes. Of course. Yeah. Yes, I do, teacher. Okay, that's the attitude. Remember, ya solo nos quedan unos pocos días, everyone. Así que espero que estos últimos días no faltemos, right? And remember, we are going to have the last exam. Pero está fácil, don't worry. And, well, in this week, vamos a estar practicando bastante. Así que, please, if you have questions, if there is a topic that you don't understand very well, tell me. I can explain again. Okay? Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Um, where are your classmates? Vamos a ver, esperemos que sus compañeros se conecten pronto. Do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Uh -huh. What was the topic? Address. Address. The Address. time, the preposition, preposition, the place. Correct. Home, at. Exactly, very good. So we studied prepositions time and place. And also, as Jesus said, we studied giving address. Very good. So, hoy vamos a tener un poquito de practice about that topic, okay? Si hay algo que no lo entienden muy bien, so tell me, I can explain again, all right? Now, ¿cómo van con la plataforma? Ajá, ¿cómo van con las tareas de esta semana? Fine. I'm good. Right. Very I'm good. Finished. Finished. Okay, excellent. Yes, actually, estoy viendo que algunos ya avanzaron, algunos ya hasta ya terminaron. So, very good job. Para los que todavía no han terminado, everybody, please, I mean, tratemos de irnos poniendo al día. Hay unos que todavía están atrasados con la semana number three. So, mm -mm, have to hurry up, okay? Well, let's start. I'm going to share the presentation. Remember, everybody, si no contamos el día de hoy, basically solo tenemos three more classes y hemos aprobado el primer nivel. ¿Están listos para el segundo nivel? ¿Quiénes están listos para el segundo nivel? A ver. <laughs> Ah, very good. Thank I'm you. Ready. Okay, Ana y Jesús, you are ready. Y los demás, oh my gosh. So los demás, not ready. My goodness. Huh. Sonia Elizabeth. Wow. Yes, teacher. Are you ready? ready? Ah, that's the attitude. Very good. Very good. So, um, let's continue then. Espero que de verdad estén listos para el segundo nivel. All right. Now, can everybody see the presentation? Yes, can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes? Good. So today is December 13, and this is the topic. Ese es el topic que vamos a ver el día de hoy. How to use there is and there are. Ok, hoy vamos a ver ese topic, es bastante fácil, so don't worry. And vamos a usar esta palabra, quantifiers. So más adelante les voy a explicar en qué consisten los quantifiers. So the objective of the class is that you will be able to use there is and there are in the quantifiers. So, but before that, let's try to remember the prepositions of time. So, do you remember cuando utilizo on? 
Can you give me examples? Um, days and days. Exactly, days and date, right? For example, on January 12th, on December 4th, on Monday, on Friday. So estamos hablando de days and dates. So how can I use in? Do you remember? Uh -huh. Years. Years, yes. What else? Months. Months. Station, sería estación. Seasons. Seasons. Summer. Uh -huh. winter. Summer, winter, very good. What else? Any other example? Hmm. Puedo usar in en period of time? Yes or no? Uh, in noon, evening, All right. evening uh, midnight. Correct, that's the one. So remember, we can use in when we are talking about minutes, months, years, also cuando estamos hablando de long period of time. For example, eh, in 30 days is a period of time. Cuando decimos in five minutes, period of time. In 10 years, eso es un period of time. Okay, and the last one, when can we use at? Night, middle it, night. Very good, cuando hablamos de la night, midnight, what else? Uh -huh. When else? When I'm talking about at? Uh -huh. At the moment. At the moment. So when we are talking about exact moment, specifically the time. For example, at bedtime, at noon, at midnight. So when we are giving exact moment, we use at, okay? Estos son como los most common scenarios when we are talking about on, in, and at, siempre que hablamos de time. So let's do a practice. I'm going to show you some scenarios and I want you to choose the correct answer. Let's imagine that this is the exam. So please try to choose the correct answer. Let's see. Look at the first sentence. My sister works ta, 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 the evening. So what do you think on the evening? In the evening or at the evening? In the evening. In the at, evening. At the evening. At the evening. Okay, everybody, what do you think? On at the evening is the time. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay, algunos dicen in, algunos dicen at. Imagine that this is your exam. So what is your final answer? At. At. Okay. Ooh, it is not at. Okay, let's remember this sentence. Cuando hablábamos de las partes del día, usábamos in. For example, in the morning, in the afternoon. Pero, ¿qué pasaba cuando empezábamos a hablar? Solo habían dos excepciones de cuando usábamos at. Cuando decíamos night o midnight, right? O cuando hablábamos del mediodía, at noon. 
pero para el resto siempre usábamos in. En este caso es in the evening. All right. So try to remember this. Solo vamos a usar at cuando hablemos de night o midnight y cuando hablemos del noon. Ok. So pay attention. Be careful with this one. Si en el examen les aparece the evening, van a seleccionar in. In. Ok. Si en lugar de evening dijésemos midnight, Ahí sí podríamos escoger at. Exactly. Okay, let's see the next one. I need a volunteer for reading, please. We, We have, have a evening. Saturday, Saturday afternoon. afternoon. Thank you. Okay, Saturday afternoon. What is the correct preposition? On. On Saturday afternoon? Are you sure? Everybody, do you agree? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And yes, very good. Remember, in this case, I'm talking about day. It's a day, so we have to say on. Okay, another volunteer for reading, please. My friend's class is all past two. Thank you. So what is the answer? At. 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 Okay. At. At. Very good job. Okay, I will be asking individually. Let me see. Xiomara. Xiomara, can you read the next one, please? I have many kids uh, on my birthday. Okay. On my birthday? Are you sure? Everybody, what do you think? On, in, or at? Uh huh. What do you think? Oh. Not Ok, on. algunos dicen on. on y otros dicen at, so... Oh. On. 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 Are you sure? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Remember, cuando hablamos de birthday, estoy hablando de un día, específicamente una fecha, right? Así que es on. Very good, very good. Okay, the next sentence, let's see. Sonia Veronica, can you read the next sentence, please? My father was groom. In. In. Okay, ¿cómo leemos este año? Yeah. 19, 19, 1975. That's the 1975. one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> 1975. So, um, she said in. ¿Están de acuerdo, everybody? In 1975? Yes. Yes. Definitely. We are talking about years. That's correct. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. Guillermo, can you read the next one, please? Children of Sky. In, in winter. In winter. Okay. The children skin winter. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Definitely. ¿Qué es winter? What is the meaning of winter? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. That's the one. Okay, let's see. Next sentence. I'm going to ask two to 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 turn. Selby. can you read the next sentence, please? I have I have lunch now. Mm -hmm. So what is the correct lunch. proposition? Lunch. At, at mm, noon. I have lunch at noon. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Right. Yes. 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 
Yes, okay, very good job. You are ready for the exam, very good. Okay, Sonia Elizabeth, can you read the next one, please? Um, are there any holidays um, in October? In October, so everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? Yes. Yes? yes? Correct, definitely. Okay, the next one. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Anna, read the next one, please. Anna, can you read the next one? Okay, Anna, I cannot hear you. Oh, excuse me. I have my yoga class Friday. Uh huh. So, what is the correct answer? On. On. Hmm. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Yes. Definitely. It's a day of the week. All right. Let's see the last one. Harbin, can you read it, please? She goes to bed at night. Easy. All right. On, um, in or at? Yeah. At. at. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Nice job, everybody. So, do you have any question about the proposition of place at, in, or on, or easy? Uh-huh. Easy? Yes? Okay, well, espero que sí, right? Remember, ese topic les va a aparecer en el exam, okay? Así que please remember the most important is memorize the scenario. Now, yesterday we studied the prepositions of place. So let's see if you remember. When we are talking about places, do you remember when we can use on? Can you give me examples? Uh -huh. On Saturday, uh -huh. in January, on Monday. Okay, January. That's, that's correct, but this is when we were talking about the time. But when we are talking about places, do you remember? When talking about places. Uh -huh. Or face. A street, avenue. Street, uh -huh. avenues. Street, avenues. Um, if I say on the table, is that yes. correct? Yes. Yes. So look at the difference. On, in these moments, we are not talking about time. We are talking about place. So we can use on when we are talking about surface. For example, on the table, on the wall, on the chair. Also, we can use- On the floor. On the floor, correct. Imagine if I ask you, where is your cell phone? What will be your answer? Where is your cell phone? Uh -huh. My cell phone is on the couch. All right, very good. And you, everybody, where is your cell phone? My safe, my cell phone is on desk. On the desk. On the desk. Very good. So if you see, surface. Also, we can use on, as your classmate said, when we are talking about streets. For example, on Juan Pablo II Street, on Olympica Avenue, okay? On main street. So when you say the name of the street, we use on. Now, how we can use in? Can you give me examples? Remember, we are talking about places. 
In the in park. El Salvador, in the ah, park. In the park. In the, walk, in the school. In All the right. Walk, in the so, house. Correct. Remember that in is for inside. Okay? Inside the room. So I am in the room. Or when you are talking about cities. So where do you live? Ah, I live in San Miguel. Ah, where are you? Ah, I am in Santa Ana. All right. Also, when we are talking about countries. Ah, I am in Mexico, in Canada. Okay. In France. In France, exactly. Imagine if I ask you, where is Messi right now? Uh huh. Messi in Qatar. In. in? Uh huh. Qatar. Exactly. So yeah. we are talking about countries. That's why we say in. So imagine if I ask you right now, everybody, where are you? Usemos in, where are you right now? Uh -huh. In Santa Tecla. In Santa I Tecla. Am, I am inside my home. Inside my home. If you want to say a room, we can say I am in my bedroom. I, I, in living, I am my, in the I living room. room. In the living room. Very good. So is inside a place. Excellent job. How about at? How we can use at? A specific. Um, at a specific the places. Wall. Location. The of the ah, location. Exactly. Cuando estamos siendo bien specific. For example, at work, at home, at the gas station, at the meeting room, at uh, the office. Okay. So it's a very specific place. Very good. Okay, let's do a practice. Look at this picture. What is the correct sentence? On the table, in the table, or at the table? Um, on the table. Um, on the table. Are you sure? Yes. 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 On the table, letter A is the correct one. Very good. Okay, look at the next picture. What is the correct one? On Spain, in or at Spain? At Spain. In what? Spain. 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 In the city. In. In. The, the hmm. Spain. In country, Spain. In. In. in remember Spain is a country, right? Wow. What is what is the meaning of Spain? España. Correct. So it's a country. Okay. So cuando hablamos de countries, we say in in Spain. Okay, let's see the next example. I will be asking individually. Again, so let's start with Yesenia. Yesenia, what is the correct answer in the next one? Uh -huh. At the living room? Everybody, do you agree? Yes. In the living room. In up the living room. In the living room. In the living room. Is it specific? Okay. Is it specific? Remember lo que les mencionaba ayer. Estamos hablando de partes de la casa. ¿Cuál usábamos cuando hablábamos de las partes de la casa? In. 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 So in this case we say in the living room. ¿Por qué? Porque se entiende que estamos 
Adentro. ¿Adentro de dónde? De la casa, right? Inside the living room. Okay? Let's continue. But before continue with the exercises, I'm going to check attendance. So if you listen to your names, remember to say present. So, Ana Carmina. Presente, teacher. Present, okay. teacher. Good. Douglas. Okay, Douglas is not here. Um, Guillermo. Present. Very good. Harvin Vladimir. Present. All right. Jesus Ernesto. Okay. Jesus Joannis. Present. All right. Um, Jose Alberto. Rigoberto Padilla. Present teacher. All right. Rogelio Enrique. Rogelio. Okay. Um, Selvi Sosmin. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Nice. Sonia Veronica. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, tu, 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 tu. Wilson Ortega. Present. Okay. Siomar Elizabeth. Present. All right. And Yesenia Lili. Very good. Excellent. Okay, everybody, let's continue then. Now, look at the next picture and tell me what will be the correct answer. Um, let's see. Okay, look at the picture, everybody. On the wall, in the wall, or at the wall? On the wall. On the wall, are you sure? Yes. Okay, everybody, están de acuerdo? Do you agree? Yes. Yes, is a surface. Very good, very good. Okay, I will ask to, 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 to Jesus Joannis. Okay, Jesus, look at the mm. next picture. What is the correct answer? Um, on. On 72 on. High Street. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Yes. 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 Estoy hablando de streets. Excellent. Okay, the next one. Wilson, look at the next picture. What would be the correct answer? Um, I'm sorry? On the, on the train station. On. Are you sure? At. At. Hmm. Okay. at. ¿Por qué at? Why? Because it's talking about specific, 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 specific place. Correct. Place. That's the correct answer. So we are talking about a specific place. So we are going to say at. At the train station. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Sonia Elizabeth, what do you think? Where is the cat? Um, on a back. How do the pronunciation back? Basket. Basket. Uh huh. Okay. Mm. On so, a basket. On a basket. Okay. Everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? Where is the cat? In a basket. In a basket. ¿Por qué in y no on? Because it's inside. Because inside. Ah, the basket. That's correct. Is inside. So remember, si estamos hablando que está sobre una surface, si decimos on. But si está adentro, decimos 
in. En este caso está inside the basket, yes or not? Yes. Yes. So we will say in, in a basket. Okay, look at the next one. Um, I'm going to ask to Guillermo. What is the correct answer, Guillermo? At work. At work. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes, it's a specific place. Very good job. Okay, now look at the next one. Everybody, what do you think? What is the correct answer? On home, in home, at home. At, at home. home. On home. On? Yes. Are you sure? At home. At, 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 home. Home. at home. Remember, on is solo para surface. So mm -mm, the correct one is at home. Nice. Okay, how about the next one? What is the correct answer? Mm. On Long Street. On Long Street. On Long Street. <laughs> Correct. Remember, every time that we are talking about streets, we say on. Very good. Okay. Any questions so far about the preposition? Everybody? Be careful with the microphones, please. Uh huh. Is it clear? Do you have questions with at, in, and on? Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Teacher, it's a little bit uh, when uh, inside or in the surface, you know, the, the first one in the basket, uh, you say it's inside, the other is outside, and in, in, the, in the table. Yes. So when the, in this case, guys, just remember something. Remember that a surface, una superficie, normalmente estamos refiriéndonos a algo que es plano, right? Una mesa es plana. The floor is like flat, plano, right? En este caso de basket, si se fijan, es, no es completamente plano. Entonces, básicamente, el gato está adentro del basket. Es como si estuviera, tomaran una caja y metiéramos al gato adentro de la caja. ¿Estaría on the box or in the box? In. Tengo otra pregunta. In the box. Mm. Exactly. Al igual que si estuviera en una mochila, diríamos in the bag. No diríamos on. So, try to remember that surface normalmente es flat. Plan. Um, yes, Guillermo, do you have a question? Yo sé que el gato está dentro de la caja, pero qué tan extremo es que no nos entiendan si decimos que está encima. That's a good point. Listen, everybody. Si ustedes me dicen on the basket or in the basket, basically, si ustedes me dicen on the basket, Sí se entiende. I mean, lo que las personas van a entender es que, ah, el gato está sobre la canasta. Right? Simplemente in es para ser específicos, que está adentro. Now, remember in this moment, estamos tratando la manera de aprender el inglés lo más eh, correctamente posible. Si ustedes me dicen, ah, the cat is on the basket. ¿Está en el basket, sí o no? Pues, yes. Right? Sí se les va a entender. Es como, por ejemplo, el example que estaba al inicio. Si ustedes me dicen at the living room or in the living room, ¿les van a entender? Yes, les van a entender. But remember, estamos tratando la manera de aprenderlo gramaticalmente lo más correcto que se pueda. Got it? Ok. Gracias. Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. So remember, try to analyze in the scenario. Porque remember, in the exam, si se les va a evaluar eso. Okay. Teacher, pregunta, yes. ¿hay excepciones algunas? Por ejemplo, en esa donde dice es at home, pero entiendo que el hombre está dentro de la casa. All right. Remember, and, and this is something that I mentioned yesterday. ¿Cuántas casas tenemos nosotros normalmente? Uh, <laughs> so imagine in this case, 
si ustedes me dicen, estoy en casa, ¿estamos hablando de una casa en específico, sí o no? Yes. Yes, because normalmente we only have one. Entonces, si ustedes me dicen, ah, yo estoy en casa, entiendo que es solo one. Ahora, si ustedes me dicen, teacher, I am in home, lo mismo que les decía a, a Guillermo, sí les van a entender. Están entendiendo que están en casa, it's all right, se entiende. Y están diciendo que están inside the house, perfect. Now, ¿qué sucede? Que lo más común es usar at, porque es lo gramaticalmente correct. Es lo mismo que sucede en Spanish. All right. Si en Spanish yo les pregunto, everybody, where are you? ¿Cómo me contestarían ustedes? Estoy en la casa. Right. Si ustedes de repente escucharan que alguien les dijera, ah, estoy este, sobre la casa. Right. ¿Le entenderían a esa persona que está en la casa, sí o no? No. En esta, se entiende que está a menos en la casa. que le esté cambiando el techo. Exactly. Entonces podemos darle una pequeña interpretación. Si ustedes me dicen sobre la casa, ah, quiere decir que está encima de la casa. Lo mismo sucede con el English. Si ustedes me dicen I am on home, ¿qué me van a entender? I am on home. Estamos, estamos sobre la casa, right? Entonces, lo que les quiero decir es, de que les van a entender, yes, probably. So, just remember, we are trying to learn the correct as possible. Y a veces, el cambio de una preposición puede hacer que la oración se pueda entender de una forma diferente. That's the only thing. Got it? Yes? Got it. Very good. Okay. Any other questions that you may have? No more questions? No. Okay. Now, yesterday we learned to give address. ¿Se acuerdan de las propositions que vimos ayer para dar direcciones? To give address? So, so. Uh -huh. Can you give me examples? Across the street. Across the street. Very good. Behind. Uh, in front yeah. of. In front uh, of. Around the corner. Between. Around the corner. Between. Between. Next to. Next to, ah, very good. Veo que si se acuerdan. Excellent job. So, remember, we are going to practice giving address. So, cuando damos una dirección, the first thing is to say the name of the street. ¿Qué preposition voy a usar para decir el name of the street? On. On. So, ustedes me van a decir, imagine si yo les pregunto, hey, where is the bookstore? Ah, it's on Pine Street y después un punto de referencia. So, pueden decirme between, across the street, or on the corner, next to, in front of. Okay, that's the idea. And this is a map that we checked yesterday, but let's practice with this one. For example, um, I have here a hotel. Can you see the hotel? Yes. yes. Imagine if I ask you, hey, where is the hotel? What would be the answer? It's on David it's Street. On next to next to bakery very good bakery. so aquí simplemente diríamos ah it's on davis street next to the bakery very good so imagine que esta es la ciudad donde ustedes viven so i am new así que les voy a ir pidiendo address um, let's see. I need a volunteer. Tengo un voluntario. Who wants to try? 
<laughs> Only one, please. Okay, um, Harbin. Okay, Harbin, very good. Harbin, let's see, where is, where is the cinema, Harbin? It's on Davie Street, in front of um, Bakery. Bakery. In front of Bakery, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, Harbin. Across on es cruzar, es cruzando la, la calle. Yes. Uh -huh. Imagine, podemos decir in front of o podemos decir across the streets. Mm -hmm. So, Harbin, uh, choose one of your classmates. Rigoberto. Rigoberto. Hello, Rigoberto. Are you there? Okay, Rigoberto, I need to go to the swimming pool. Where is the swimming pool? Okay, I think that Rigoberto cannot talk in this moment. Okay, let's see, let's try with Joannis. Joannis, I need to go to the swimming pool. Where is the swimming pool? Um, I know. See, mm. okay, uh -huh. it's, it's in the um, Maple Street, uh, be, um, behind to hospital. All right, mm, behind what, mm. uh. No, it's not from. behind, it's from. Okay. So it looks like a la par. Se ve como que si estuviese mm -hmm. a la par, right? So how can I mm -hmm. say that? The musician. Okay. Oh. Is next to musician. Uh, next to the museum. Museum. Or, or, the corner. or between no. hospital ah. and musician. We can say between, very good. So we can say, okay, the swimming pool, it's on Maple Street between the hospital and the museum. Very good. Museum. Okay, Joannis, choose one of your classmates, please. Uh-huh, elija alguien, please. Joannis? Sonia, Sonia Elizabeth. Sonia Elizabeth. Okay, Sonia Elizabeth. Where is, let's see, ta -ta -ta -ta. where is the Italian restaurant? Italian restaurant. It's on David Street, around the corner. All right. Uh-huh. Around the corner of school. No sé si se dice lo que está la off, el que está la par, o, o cómo es. In this case, si se fijan, el restaurant está a la par, enfrente, o atrás. What do you think? Talking about the school. The lower shop in front. Podríamos decir, like, in front of the school. Ahí depende del punto de vista, right? So puede ser in front of the school. Very good. Okay, Elizabeth, pick someone, please. Ajá. Uh Davis -huh. is... Oh, Elija no. alguien. Pick someone. Oh, one of your okay. classmates. Okay. Um, licenciada Carmina. All right. Ana, where is the bank? Mm, the bank is... Uh, en esta ocasión no les... 
no estoy entendiendo cómo va la respuesta, la verdad. Ok, primero, primero decimos el nombre mm. de la calle y después okay. damos un punto de referencia. So, what is the name of the street? It's, sería, it's, it's Maple Street. Ok, uh, ¿Qué, preposition, ¿qué preposition usamos cuando decimos it's, el nombre de una calle? It's on Maple Street. Ajá. Así, it's on okay. Maple Street. Um, okay. Punto de referencia, in, por ejemplo. In front, in front, in front at supermarket. That's correct. Ah. Very good. <laughs> ya puedo. <laughs> yes, you can do it. Very good, very good. So, let's see. Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. Wilson. Okay, Wilson, I need to know, um, let's see, where is, a, a, an easy, oops, sorry, where is the toy shop? The toy shop. Uh, mm -hmm. Toy shop. Toy shop is at, at next to the payphone, payphone. Ah, it's next to the payphone. What is the name of the street? The name of the street is Davis Street. Very good. And what is the preposition que usamos antes del name of the street? At. At, are you sure? Uh, oh. Yeah. On. Okay. So, siempre que digan el nombre de una calle, usamos on. En este caso, ¿dónde está el toy shop? It's on Davis Street next to the payphone. Very good. Or, si digo between, ¿cómo sería? Between between bakery and, and police station. station and police station that's the correct one very good very good okay i'm going to show you another city let's move on to the next city okay everybody i need a volunteer can you tell me where is the post office The Where? post office is on Jade Street. Uh -huh. Behind the hospital. All right. Very good. Very good. And everybody, where is the bookstore? It's on Brook Street between hospital and com convenience store convenience store. convenience store that's the correct one very good very good so this is the way that we can give address right so cuando decimos address primero demos el nombre de la calle y luego demos un punto de referencia all right and don't forget qué preposition voy a usar at in or on, cuando diga el nombre del street. On. Um, on. Um, on, siempre on. Um. Always, siempre que digo el name of the street, vamos a usar on. Is it clear the way that we can give address, everybody? Yes, preguntas, do you have any questions so far? This is the moment. Hmm. Okay. Bastantes, <laughs> Bastantes questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Tell me, what is the question? Ah, he tratado de entender, pero no. No okay. mucho. Vaya. Don't worry. Look at this. Lo primero que tenemos que aprendernos son las prepositions. Eso lo vimos ayer. All right. Aprendernos qué significa behind. ¿Qué era behind? Enfrente. Enfrente, are you oh, sure? Atrás. Oh, no, atrás. In front of. 
Enfrente, enfrente de. Next to. Al lado. All right. Between. El centro. It's like Entra. in the middle, en medio. Ajá. Uh -huh. En medio. So inside. inside. Abierto. Dentro. It's like dentro. adentro. Outside. Ahí. Afuera. Afuera. All right. Now, let's go back to the map. Imagine, yo quiero saber a dónde está el restaurant. Entonces, lo primero que hay que hacer es decir el nombre de la calle. Pero cuando decimos el nombre de la calle, ¿qué preposition vamos a usar? On, on. in, or at. On. on. Exactly, on. Aquí está el restaurant. So, ¿qué calle está el restaurant? Exactly. Entonces vamos a decir, imagine que yo les pregunto, ok, everybody, where is the restaurant? So you have to say, ok, the restaurant on. is on, y ahí colocamos el name of the street. Roosevelt, uh, be careful with the microphones, please. So the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. Y al igual que en español, damos puntos de referencia. Decimos, ah, a la par de, a la, par de la escuela. Ah, enfrente del parque. Así lo decimos. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Entonces, ¿qué punto de referencia podemos dar aquí? ¿Qué tenemos cerca del restaurant? Ajá. ¿Qué tenemos cerca del restaurant que nos pueda servir de referencia? Mall and company. Ok, tenemos el mall. Okay. El mall está enfrente, atrás, a la par, en medio. What? What do you think? ¿A dónde está el mall? Next to. Next to. From off. Mm, depende del punto de vista, right? Pero podríamos decir in front. Of, oh. right, in front of the mall. Eso es toda la dirección. So, where is the restaurant? Ah, the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street in front of the mall. Okay? Intentemos otra vez. Let's see, Selvis. Where is the church? ¿Cómo me respondería? Remember, primero el name of the street and then the reference. Where is the church? Um, Ajá. Uh -huh. On street. ¿Cómo se llama Next la street? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se llama la calle? Look. Se llama la calle... Second Avenue. Correct. Entonces vamos a decir, ok, the church is on Second Avenue. Ok, ¿y cuál es el punto de referencia? Next to. Ajá. Next to. Cool. Next to the school, yes. So you see, ahí ya me están dando una address. ¿Se entiende mejor ahora? Okay, yes. Excellent, yes. very good. ¿Alguien más? Do you have any question, everybody, about this topic? Okay. Una, una pregunta. Of... Yes, go ahead. Uh, Se puede decir, between... Eh, First Avenue and Roosevelt Street para el caso del restaurant between, entre las dos calles oh, yes okay. of uh -huh. course, es lo mismo que el park where is the park si se fijan el parque está en medio de dos calles so you can say, ok, the park is between Second and First Avenue so el between lo podemos usar también con las calles, no problem All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, think about your city, everybody. A ver, where is the city hall? 
in your city. Imagine que yo vaya a su ciudad y no conozco el city hall. So, can you tell me where is the city hall? Ajá, uh -huh. primero el name of the street. Where is the city hall? Ajá, ahí trabajan. Come on. ¿Cuál es la dirección de su city hall? First, the it, name. Ajá. Uh -huh. Is it on First Street? First Street? Uh, or or uh, Second Avenue. All right, okay. And a reference point? Next to, in front of? Next to the park. Next to the park. Okay, so you see, ya me dieron una address. So this is a way, the, next to the church. All right, so you see, ahí me están dando address. Okay, that's the way that we can give address. So imagine que de repente llega un turista, right? Llega a la city hall y el turista le dice, hey, where is the, where is the church? What will be your answer? Wow. Where is the church? Uh -huh. Where is the church? <laughs> Piensen en su ciudad, en su ciudad. Uh -huh. Where is the church? The church is in the main street close to the park. All right, it's on main street and then punto de referencia. Imagine que eh, viene el turista y le dice, hey everybody, where is the supermarket? Piensen en su ciudad. Where is the supermarket? Ajá. Ajá. Where is the supermarket? The supermarket is on uh, Main Avenue. We don't have. <laughs> we don't have. Okay, Main Avenue, un punto de referencia. <laughs> from uh, from to El Molino de Antonio. <laughs> the, right. big supermarket, <laughs> the big supermarket in uh, Camanique is only on the main street, close to the. Um, the park one and the other one is at the Molino, say the guys. <laughs> okay, but you see, ya están dando puntos de referencia, everyone. Very good. Una pregunta, Tisha. Yes, go ahead, eh, Guillermo. Tenemos aquí West Street, eh, calle Poniente, calle Oriente, necesito, por favor, ¿cómo se dice? In that case, will be East. East. Sí. Yes. Eh, ¿cómo I'm, se going, I'm going, perdón. yes, ahorita se lo escribo y les muestro. Okay. Calle Oriente. Oriente, yes. Esto es básicamente como los puntos cardinales. Oriente, right? Poniente. Ok. So, this one is Oriente, Poniente. Ok. So, imagine, okay. queremos decir norte. ¿Cómo diríamos norte? North. North. No. Sur, no. south, ok, south, north, south. Estaría bien, teacher, First Avenue North. Ok, normalmente los puntos los decimos antes. Antes, mm -hmm. ok. So we can say on, eh, ok, can you repeat the street? Eh, primera Avenida Norte. Ok, on first, primero decimos first, luego decimos, por ejemplo, North Avenue. En primera avenida norte, on first North Avenue. Si sería oriente, on first East Avenue. Y así sucesivamente. Ok. 
¿Se entiende, everybody, how to give Teacher, address? ¿Cómo se dice dos cuadras abajo? <laughs> <laughs> ok, perfect. In English, para decir cuadras, decimos block. block. So, ¿cómo digo dos? Two block. Two ok, block. so, es plural. Block. Entonces le agregamos la letter S. Two blocks. So, ¿Qué pasa si quiero decir dos calles hacia abajo? <ríe> ¿Ok? Oh, Solo street. le decimos go down street two blocks. Go down es como ir hacia abajo, right? Vaya hacia abajo, ¿cuánto? Ah, two blocks. ¿Ok? Yes, ¿se entiende, everybody? Listen, hay mucho vocabulary para ser más específicos, right? Pero en este nivel, lo más importante es aprendamos a decir el nombre de la calle and un punto de referencia. As simple as that. Where is the school? Ah, the school is on Main Street in front of the park. For example, ah, where is the supermarket? Okay, the supermarket is on First Avenue eh, between the church and El Molino de Don. <laughs> no remember, I don't remember el name que dijeron. But eso, all right? Aprendamos a decir el nombre de la calle y un punto de referencia. And that's it. Understood, everybody? Yes? We will continue practicing this topic, okay? Pero try to practice the vocabulary. Try to practice the prepositions. Aprendámonos eso para que se nos haga más fácil. Now, we will continue, but first, let's relax. Stretch your arm, please. Move your neck. I, I can see some of you a little bit stressed. <laughs> okay, let's see a new topic. And the topic is there is and there are. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes. yes. Excellent. Okay, there is, there are. If you remember, is, is for singular or plural? Singular. Exactly. And are? Plural. Exactly. So, but let's see this topic. Look, there is, how many monsters can you see in there is? How many monsters? One. one. Only one, right? <laughs> so, cuantos monsters hay? Only one. one. Entonces vamos a decir, ah, there is one monster. monster. ¿Y qué estoy diciendo aquí? There is one monster. Hay un monstruo. Correct. Hay uno. In the next one, how many monsters do we have here? Three. 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 So we are going to say there wow. are three, three monsters. 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 Okay. What do you think? Puedo decir, hey, there is three monsters? Yes or no? No. No, uh, because it's plural. So we are going to uh, say there are three monsters. So there is and there are. Así de simple. Just remember, there is is for singular. There are is for plural. Okay. Okay, let's do a practice. I'm going to show you some sentences. Look at the pictures and tell me if it is there is or there are. Look at this. Can you see the picture? A police car. What do you think? There is or there are? There is. There is. There is. It's there is only a police. one. How about the next picture? Two kids. So there, there, are, there, are, there are two kids. kids. There, there are, are two, two kids. kids. Correct. How about the next one? Some cherries. There are. There, there are. Uh, Correct. 
Perfect. Is plural. A monkey. There, there is. is. There is. There is. Mm -hmm. All right. Butterfly. A butterfly. There is. There is. There is a butterfly. There is. Okay. A few birds. They are. There, there are. 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 There, there, there. there are. Very good. Many flowers. There are. There are. Many flowers. There are. There are. And the last one. Three children. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are. Excellent job. So if you see this topic is very easy. Now, important. What is the pronunciation? There are. There, exactly. Because be there careful. Are. Hay una diferencia entre el there y el they. Eh. So the first one, there. There. And this one is? Day. 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 Exactly. So, understood. There is and there are. ¿Se entiende? Is it clear? 50-50. 50-50. No worries. Let's do a practice. Look at this picture. Let's create sentences using there is and there are. For example, how many beds can you there see? There is a bed. There is a bed. Very good. There is a bed. Perfect. What else? What else there can you see? Plan. Okay. There is a plant. Mm -hmm. There are a book. Okay. There. Okay. Ah, puedo decir there are a books? Yes or no? No. no. Exactly. Yeah. Letter A is not necessary. So we say just there are books. What else? And and how many books? ¿Cuántos libros hay? How many books? Oh. Muchos. Muchos. How muchos. can I say muchos? A lot of. Okay. ¿Cómo digo muchos? A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. So I will say there are a lot of books. What else? There are a lot Clouds. of clouds. All right. There are a, a lot, lot of, of, we can clouds. say clouds, right? What else? There is a... There are a lot of peluches, como se dice, peluches. Okay, there are a lot of teddy. Teddies, eso. Uh -huh. Can you see lamp? Yeah, there is lamp. There is a lamp. Ah, very good. There is a lamp. Easy. I have a question. Um, can you see um, a refrigerator? No. No. They no. Are, no. So, ¿cómo diríamos que no hay una refrigerator? It's very simple. If you want to do it in negative, solo tenemos que agregarle la palabra no. For example, there is no fridge. No hay una refri. ¿Qué más no hay ahí? What else we cannot see? There is no chair. Okay, there is no TV. There is no chairs. Okay, ¿pueden ver algunos niños ahí? ¿Hay niños? No. So, ¿cómo digo que no hay niños? There is no. There are no. Children. Children. No. Children. Okay, pay attention here. If it is in plural, we need to say there are. There are no children. Children. Exactly. So, in this case, children, ¿necesita la letter S? ¿Sí o no? No. Yes. No hay niños, estamos diciendo. Okay. They are not children. Pay attention here, everybody. Oh, no. They are child. 
Ok, en singular decimos child. El plural de child es children. Ok. So, no podemos decir children's. Es children. Ok. Now, let's see another picture and tell me what can you see. Uh -huh. Can you tell me sentences using there is and there are? There is a, there is a bed. No, there are a room. Okay, there is a bed. What else? There are. There is a close, closet. Oh, there is or there are? There are. A closet? Mm -hmm. There is. Yes. There is. There is a closet. Yes, what else? Yes. There are two windows. Ah, very good. There are two windows. There, there, are pictures. there is a two picture. Books. There is a picture. There are books. There the book. are chairs. Alfombra. Oh, yes. There is or there are? There, there are. are. Yes, because we have like two. Very good. What else? There is a chair. Mm. Alfombra, como dijo, teacher? Wrong. R U G rock. There is a lamp. All right, there is a lamp. Only one? Two. There are actually we have two. So vamos a decir there are two. Okay. How can I say florero? What do you think? They there there is it is one one o'clock. Okay, look, sí, florero. Sí, sí, sí. Mm -mm. Okay, florero, we can say flower vase. Flower. So, for example, we can say there is a flower vase. Se los voy a ir escribiendo para que veamos también un poquito de vocabulary, right? Eh, there is, alfombra me dijeron por ahí, right? So, there are two rocks dos alfombras um mirror what is the meaning of mirror ah so there is or there are there are there is there is there, there is, is. There it's is. only one how about pillows what is the meaning of pillow almohada so there is or there are there, there are, are. There are two, two pillows. Two pillows. Excellent. Very good. You are doing great. Can you see a TV? No. So what will be the sentence? There is no TV. Very no. good. Can you see a cell phone? How do you say cortina? Curtain. Curtain. Cur Curtain. Así como se escucha. Curtain. Curtain. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in this case, there is or there are? There, there are. are. There are curtains, right? Mm -hmm. so, can you see cell phones? No. no. So, what would be they, the sentence? They is there not. is no cell phone. cell phone. There is no cell phone. Can you see a laptop? There is no laptop. There is no laptop. Can you see apples? There is no TV. Yeah. There is no TV. Okay, if I want to say apples? Mm, no. So what will be the sentence? There is no there is apple. No. Mm, there is there no. Are, there are no. There is no apple. Ah, very good. So remember, si es en plural, vamos a usar there are. are. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm going to show you another picture and I will be asking one by one to give me sentences. Pueden decirla en plural o en singular, in affirmative or negative. Let me start with Yesenia. Yesenia, look at this picture. Give me a sentence.
you can say there is, there are, there is not, or there are not. Create a sentence, please. There are, uh-huh. Curtain. Curtain? Okay, yes, look, there are curtains. Very good, thank you, Yesenia. Okay, next, Yomara, give me a sentence, please. Um, there is couch, sofa. Okay, there is a coach, like a sofa. Mm -hmm, very good. Okay, Wilson, give me a sentence. You can say it in are, singular or plural. There are a clock. There are a clock. Hmm, it's only one. So can I say there are or there is? There is. There clock. is, because it's only one. There is a clock. Okay, let's see. Veronica, give me a sentence, please. Uh -huh. Veronica? <laughs> there is a lamp. 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 Yes, good. Okay, let's see. Selvis, give me a sentence. There is flower. There is a flower. Yes, very good. Um, Elizabeth, give me a sentence. Mm, there, there are books. There are books. Yes, very good, very good. Um, Jesus, Ernesto, give me a sentence. There is a uh, chair. There is a chair, only one. I think. <laughs> there are chairs. Very good. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. If you see, this is the way that we can use there is and there are. Understand? Easy or difficult? What do you think? Uh huh. Is it clear the topic, everybody? Yes. 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 Okay, let's continue and let's see more examples. I have here a conversation. Vamos a ver cómo usar el there is y there are cuando estamos hablando del work. So, in the manual, page 41, vamos a ver una pequeña conversation. And as always, I need two volunteers for reading. So, ¿quién quiere leer? Who wants to read? Volunteers? Uh, will. Okay, Ana, you uh, will be. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Ana, Ana va a ser will. Necesito otro volunteer. Another one, please. Another volunteer. Hi. Okay, Harbin, you will be Tanya. Go ahead. Okay, will. You. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? building? I don't building. I don't live here. Okay. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I get told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you sometime, Elsie. 
Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between May the Key Street. I have some inter interviews. Interviews there. Thank you, you again. Bye bye. Thank you. Nice. Okay, everybody. I have a question. How many buildings are there in that city? Four. four Very yeah. good. There are four buildings. four buildings. All right. Where are the buildings? Edifice. Main Street. On? Main Street, mm -hmm. very good. And how many training centers are there in that city? There are a lot of. Ah, there are a lot of there training lot centers. Center. So what is the meaning of a lot of? Much. Exactly, Much. very good. So let's see some examples look at this city can you see the picture yes. yes okay imagine esta ciudad así como las que tenemos aquí en el salvador right so what can you see in this city use there is or there are what do you have in this city they are there are why? Yes. Uh huh. Because yeah. There are. For example, tenemos. Apartment. Uh huh. Look. There are apartments. 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 Apartment. Cinema. Okay. Cinemas. How many cinemas do we have? Two. Ah, so what will be the sentence? There is there or there are? There are two cinemas. There are two cinemas. Okay. Um, how about gym? Do we have a gym? Gym. Yes, um, there is a gym. Ah, look. Only one. Gym. Only one. So we can say there is. There is. A, a gym. A how gym. many restaurants? One, two. two, there are two restaurants. Are you sure? Only two? Three. 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 <laughs> Three restaurants. So we can say there, there uh, are restaurants. There are two muchos, Como digo, de, a, lot of, ah, a lot of, there there are, are a lot of, there a lot of restaurants. Ah, okay. So Hello. how about how about cafes? There are two. There are the coffee, two. a coffee. Two. Okay, two. pay attention, two. pay attention here. Cuando hablamos del café que se toma, el líquido, decimos coffee. coffee. Pero cuando hablamos coffee. del lugar donde venden café, por ejemplo, un, un café así como los que están aquí, la palabra sure. es café. Sure. Okay. Sure. Pueden decir coffee shop uh, o pueden decir solo café. En este caso, there are... Uh, there are two, two cafés. Exactly. Café. There are two cafés. Okay. Be careful, be careful with the microphones, everyone. So, there are two cafés. How about, let's see, a supermarket. Do we have supermarkets in this city? Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Shop, shop, shop cyber, shop so, cyber. Only one or there more? Is, there is a supermarket. There is a supermarket. How and about? Supermarket. How about a post? Oh, uh, here is a supermarket. How about post office? Do we have post office? Post office. Uh, only one. Office. There is a post office. How about a bookstore? Only one. There is a bookstore. There is a, there is a bookstore. bookstore. How about a park? 
There is a park. There is one park. There is a park. Excellent job. So think about your city. Can you tell me the things that you have in your city? ¿Qué hay en su ciudad? Ajá. Usando there is and there are. There is a park. There is a park. There is a whole city. There are a, there are a lot of there are park. Okay. There are two schools. There is a park. So, there, there are a lot of farmers. There is a one river. Ah, uh, there is one river. Okay, I have a question and be careful with these sentences. And you have to tell me if the sentences are correct or not. Imagine if I say, um, oops. Uh, can you see the screen? No. How about now? Can you see it? Yes. Okay, yes. imagine if I say, ah, there is a one school. Is that correct? No. No. No, no right? One. So, no here, you have to decide. O me dicen, there is a school. O me dicen, there is one school. Pero no podemos poner los dos juntos. In this case, podemos decir, there is a school. Now, how about the next one? There are a lot of church. Is the church letter N? Ah, in plural, churches. Okay. okay. Si decimos there are a lot of, el nombre tiene que ir in plural. Okay. Nice. So, listen, everybody. Um, well, because of the time, vamos a saltarnos esa practice. And let's see some examples again in our manual. If we are talking in singular, volunteer for reading the first sentence, please. There is an ATM across the street. Thank you. What is the meaning of ATM? The company? El automático. Ah, es el cajero, right? El cajero oh. automático. So, is there an ATM in your city, everybody? No. Yes. yes, there yes. are a lot of, uh, there, are, there are a lot of, and your lot city, of, <laughs> ATM across. Very good. So you can say, there are a lot of ATMs in my city. Pero si no hay, decimos, there is no, no. ATM. There is no ATM. Very good. Volunteer for reading the sentence number two. Uh -huh. There's there's a there's in center of the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Thank you. Recruitment center. What is the meaning of recruitment center? Um, the recruitamiento. Exactly. <laughs> Is there a, a recruitment center in your city? No. There, there is? There is no. Okay. The last one, volunteer for reading. There's no clothing factory around the corner. All right. Is there a clothing factory in your city? Mm -hmm. No, there is yes. no. Uh, okay, yes. there is no. Yes. Or yes, yes. there a, is. A lot of. Oh, there are a lot of. Okay. Now, that is in singular. Remember, if it is singular, we say is. If it is in negative, we just need to add the word not. How about in plural? Volunteer for reading the number one. There are a lot of companies down the street. All right, everybody. Are there a lot of companies in your city? Mm, yes. 
they are not. Okay, so you can say, yes, there are a lot of companies or no, there are not a lot of companies. Okay, so be careful. A lot of, what is that, the meaning of a lot of again? Mucho. Mucho. So, la palabra a lot of es un quantifier. So, ¿qué significa quantifier? Algo que nos expresa cantidad. So, un quantifier sería a lot of. Okay, volunteer for reading the number two, please. There are some supermarkets on the right and the left side of the street. Thank you. So we got another quantifier. The quantifier is sum. What is the meaning of sum? What do you think? Algunos. Exactly. So everybody, are there some supermarkets in your city? Yes, a lot of supermarkets. Very good. So there are a lot of supermarkets. And the last one, volunteer for reading, please. There are no hospital or barrio street. Okay. Are there hospitals in your city? Yes. There we are, are a lot of no, there are no hospitals. Okay. Hospital. So remember, not todos viven in the mismo lugar. So you can say, yes, there is, or no, there are not a lot of uh, hospitals. Very good. Now let's complete the exercises. I have here different sentences. So we need to complete the sentences with there is or there are, and we need to use the quantifier. So for example, Look at the sentences. The number one says, marketing presentation across the street in the morning. So marketing presentation, what do you think? Is in singular or in plural? Singular. Singular. It's in singular, there so. Marketing. There is. Very good. So we will say there is. Is, ¿podríamos agregar la palabra a? Yes or no? No. Why not? Yes. If it is in singular, ¿puedo usar a con un singular? Yes or no? Yes. Mm, no. No. Pero es singular. Oh, sí. Yes. 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 Mm. Remember, a es como decir one so we can say there is one marketing presentation or there is a marketing presentation so let's see da, 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 da. guillermo can you read the number two business business workshop business, business workshop down the street some there are all right so there are because he's in plural Bastard. and what is the quantifier some. Some. some so we can say there are some, some business, business workshops on the street that's the one. Number three, Douglas, can you read the number three, please? Number three. Yes. Recruitment. No entiendo nada. Nada, nada, entiendo. Yo ando perdido. Yo me he perdido muchas clases. Okay, no worries. Yo le voy a ayudar. Recruitment centers. ¿Qué opina usted? ¿El recruitment centers está en singular o plural? Es que no sé qué es eso. Ok, centros de reclutamiento. So, centers. No está en, en, en plural. Exactly. So, si there está en are, plural. Exactly. There are. there are. Ahora, si se fijan aquí tengo la palabra no. Significa que es in negative. ¿Cómo quedaría la oración en negative? There are not, no. 
Exactly, as simple as that. Entonces decimos, there are no recruitment centers around my building. Perfect, you see? Y hacer no, no lleva la T. It's optional. Listen, ah, en algunos libros de grammar, ustedes van a ver que dice, there is not or there are not. Y en algunos libros de grammar, ustedes van a ver que dice, there is no or solamente there are no. Ok. In this case, be honest with you, a veces con la letra T es como lo más común. Ok. So it's optional. Ustedes deciden, le agregan la letra T or not. Ok. It's optional. But it's the same. Now, number four, volunteer for reading the number four. In the number four is in negative. So, what would be the there answer? There is no store. Ah, very good. <laughs> On the corner of Roswell Street and Second Avenue. Correct. Very good job. Number five, the word is banks. There are banks behind the factory I, I work. Very good. Are there banks in your city, everybody? Yes. Yes, there, there are, are a lot of there are, um, banks. All right. Very good. And the last one, around a building around the corner. Is it singular or plural? Singular. All right. So what will be the sentence? There, there is a building. Exactly. Very good. So everybody, the most important thing is, if it is in singular, we say there is. If it is in plural, we say there are. As simple as that. Okay, now let's do a practice. I want you to think your city, okay? Yo sé que todos vivimos posiblemente en lugares diferentes, right? Not everybody lives like in the same city. So I want you to talk about your city. I want you to tell me three sentences using there is, and I want you to tell me Three sentences using eh, there are. Ustedes decidan si las hacen like in affirmative or in negative. Is optional. Okay? So, for example, eh, piensen en su ciudad. ¿Qué hay en su ciudad con there is? ¿Qué oración podríamos usar con there is? Uh -huh. Any idea? There, there is, is a, a city hall. Okay, there is a city hall. Perfect. It's only one. What else? There is a park. There is a park. Nice. What else? There is a library. There is a library. Good. Ya tienen tres oraciones. Now, let's think in plural. Hmm. ¿Qué hay en su ciudad? That can be plural. Remember, pueden ser in affirmative or negative. Pueden agregarle los quantifiers some or a lot of. So, can you give me examples? There, there are some restaurants. Of... Okay. There are some restaurants. There are a lot of pupuserías. <laughs> okay. There are a lot of pupuserías, ese no cambia, o podrían decir pupusas store, but pupuserías, it's all right. Anyone else? They are a lot of um, school. Very good, there are a lot of schools. Okay, so everybody right now, write three sentences using there is, and three sentences using there are. In total, six sentences and remember pronunciation there there okay i will give you 
five minutes para que escriban las sentences. Remember, six sentences in total. Three with their is and three sentences using their are. Pueden utilizar la palabra some or a lot of. But remember, some and a lot of es solo para los plurals. Okay? Go ahead. You have five minutes to write the sentences. If you have a question, just let me know. If you have a question with the vocabulary, just let me know. Three sentences, there is, and three sentences with there are. Teacher. Yes. How do you say taller? Oh, if you want to say taller, um, depende del tipo de taller. Se refiere al del mecánico. Mechanic, yeah. Okay, you can say just workshop like this. I'm going to write it like this. Oh, okay. Workshop. Si es en plural, just add the letter S. Workshop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. If you have questions, everybody, just let me know. Teacher, how do you say uh, oceano or player? Okay. Oceano. There is not a, a, a beach or ocean. Playa, beach. Remember, guys, beach es como la orilla, right? The beach. El ocean, más que todo lo usamos para referirnos al mar ya adentro, right? Por ejemplo, los barcos. ¿Los barcos andan en la beach o en el ocean? En el ocean. En el ocean. ¿Nosotros a dónde nos bañamos? ¿En el ocean o en la beach? No. En la beach, right? Okay. Es como más a la orilla. So, esa es la diferencia entre ocean and beach, ¿ok? Y en mi caso, porque aquí no hay playa, o sea, eso. No, you, can no. use, you can use the word beach. There is not beach. a beach. Exactly. A beach. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You have two more minutes. Two more minutes. If you have questions, please just let me know. Teacher, tell ¿Dónde me. ¿Dónde venden helados? Mm, ice cream shop. Ah, ice like cream. un heladería, that would be. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, you can say like ice, ice cream shop. Okay. Ice cream shop is like heladería. Mm -hmm. And ferretería. Oh, hardware store. Lo voy a escribir, let's see, por aquí. Hardware store. Hardware store es como decir ferretería. Mayúsculas en plural le agrega la S. Ah, stores. Hardware okay. stores. El hardware no va a cambiar, singular o plural. El que va a cambiar es la palabra store. Ok. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. Do you say cementerios? <laughs> okay, I like that one. Okay, cementerio, actually, mm, tenemos dos opciones. Podemos decir like um, graveyard or simplemente cemetery. 
Oh, sorry, es sin N, cemetery, like this, yes. So, like this, cemetery. O pueden decir graveyard, de las dos formas se puede. Like this, se lo voy a escribir. Cancha de fútbol, teacher. Soccer field. Si es de basketball, también pueden decir basketball field. O si es de tenis. Solo le agregamos la palabra. Pero si es de fútbol, soccer field. Ok, everybody, do you have your teacher, sentences ready? Uh -huh. Teacher, si quisiera decir, there are lot iglesias, funciona. Yes, solo que digamos churches. There churches. are a lot of churches. For example, like this. Churches. ¿Cómo se escribe? ¿Cómo se, se escucha se escribe? Así, like this, churches. Churches. Mm -hmm. Porque tiene que ser en plural. There are churches. a lot of churches. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. You. You're welcome. Everybody, do you have your sentences ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, we are going to go to our classmates and we are going to share the sentences with the classmates. Okay, so we are going to use there is and there are. So if you listen that your classmates uh, say a sentence like in a mistake, help them. Okay, traten de ayudarle, try to tell them, mm, así no iba, right? So you can help each other. Okay, so for this activity, we only have five minutes. So everybody, Let's try to use the time. In this moment, no more Spanish, okay? Si su classmate dijo una palabra y no le entendieron, pregúntenle, right? Ask them, okay, what do you mean? Okay, ¿qué quisiste decir? And you can help them, okay? ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes? Great. Okay, everybody, let's go to work. Ah, please. Todos entren a los breaking rooms. A veces he notado que algunos no entran a los breaking rooms y es como que, ay, yo casi no entendí, mejor no entro. No, everybody, al contrario. Si no entienden es cuando más hay que entrar a los breaking rooms para que sus classmates les ayuden, para que ustedes se fijen cómo lo hace su classmate. Y así ustedes se van a ir ayudando. ¿Ok? So, let's go to practice, everyone. We have only five minutes. Ay, Guillermo. <laughs> Hello, no te veo. Ay, sí, sí. eh, lo que pasa es que me va la señal, por eso la tengo así. <laughs> ok. Ok, dime tu puesto. Um, there is a supermarket. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. Um, there is a beach. 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 Uh -huh. Playa. Beach. Beach. There is a beach. Oh, mm -hmm. there is a beach. Beach. Aunque eh, si nos referimos a Tamanique, tiene, tiene mapa. Aunque, no sé en qué lugar estás, pero si es Tamanique, allá en el Beach el and Tunco sería tunco. there are there are ah, el Tunco there is a, a beach Tunco okay ahí sí. number number three um, there is a soccer field es como estadio o cancha eh, cancha cancha okay. Ajá, cancha fútbol okay uh, my question R. Number one, there is a tower in the park. Mm. Si le entendés. Tower. Park. 
taman park. tower this there is a tower in the park yes torre tower oh. <laughs> okay number two there is um there is no beach there is a cemetery there are a barber shop there are some parts there are a lot of gas stations and you a lot of gas station yes and my city hall is no gas station no the, the no complete bank, no uh, there is a park okay yes. there is a city hall there is a gravity jar okay there 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 is the there are yeah Bacasi. yeah there is and there are they they uh-huh okay they are okay there there are lily Hola. they are it's there, no they. A lot of. Hola. It's it's there, Lady. No, they. There, uh -huh. there, there is a city hall. Okay. There is a basketball. Hall. Field. Basketball they, field. They is a park. Okay. They, they, they are a lot of schools. They are a lot of uh, churches. They are a lot of um a lot of restaurants. All right. Just remember, Yesenia, the pronunciation. Tenemos que decir there. There. there Porque si, okay. si me dice they, estaríamos diciendo ellos. Ah, ellos son okay. restaurantes. So, no, right? So, there. <laughs> Colóquele una R al final. There. there. That's there. the one. Okay. Excellent. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, did everybody say the sentences? ¿Ya todos la dijeron? Yes. No. Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Let's go back. All right. Time's up, time's up. Let's wait for the rest of your classmates. How was the practice? Easy or difficult? Easy. Easy. Okay. Nice. 50-50. Okay. Did your classmates say the sentences using their is and using their are? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Su classmate usó correctamente el plural? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Su classmate usó las palabras some or a lot of? Yes. Yes. Okay. A lot. Okay. Did you listen um, Spanish? Ah, sí. 50, 50. <laughs> Spanish. Spanish. All right. Okay. Mejor Now. sinceridad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, honestly. Okay, everybody, I'm going to check attendance one more time. So um, if you were in here at the beginning of the class, please say present. So, Ana. Present, teacher. Thank you. Douglas. Present, teacher. Guillermo. Present. Harbin. Present. Jesus Ernesto. Present. Jesus Joannis. Present. Rigoberto Padilla. 
Rigoberto. Uh, present teacher, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I, I busy. Okay, it's okay. Uh, Rogelio Enrique. Okay, Selvi Sosmin. Present teacher. All right, Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sonia Veronica. Present teacher. All right, Wilson Cortega. Present teacher. Very good. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. And Yesenia Lili. Present teacher. Nice job. Okay. So, super good job with the sentences. I was listening to very good sentences. Just be careful with some aspects. For example, what is the correct pronunciation? There are. There are. There are. And what is the pronunciation of this one? They are. So you see, difference, okay? This one is graveyard. Gray gray this is like to say cemetery. It's the same. Gray yard. Gray yard. So I want to listen to some of you describing the city. So I have here the names. Let's see the winner. The first person will be Douglas. Okay, Douglas, lea sus oraciones, please. No, yo no hice nada si yo no estaba en la casa, pero le digo que no, no me había conectado. Okay. I'm going to pick someone else. Jesús Ernesto. Okay, Jesús, tell me your sentences about your city. In my city, there is a basketball field. There is a city hall. There is a park. Okay. Um, there are there are two restaurants. There are a lot of taxis. Mm -hmm. There are uh, two schools. There are two schools. Okay, cool. very good. Thank you, Ernesto. Nice sentences. Okay, next. Let's see, let's see. The winner is... Joannis. Okay, Joannis, <laughs> tell me about your city. There are, is a park. There, oh, there are, are is. or there is? There is a park. Okay. There is a city hall. There is a grave yard. Grave. And there are there are a lot of churches. There are uh, many stories. There are uh, many houses. Many houses. Okay. Pronunciation. Grave yard. Grave yard. Grave yard. That's the one. Very good. Thank you, Joannis. Very good sentences. Okay, let's see who's next. Veronica. Okay, Veronica, tell me about your city. Uh, there, there, there is a policy. Okay. There is a... Repeat, repeat the first one, please. There, there is a police station. Police station, that's what police you mean? station. Ah, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is a park. There is a city hall. Okay. There, there are a lot of schools. schools. Mm -hmm. There are some... Churches, churches, algo así. Churches? Churches, yes. There are a lot, uh, esto no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero cerros. Hills. You can hills. say uh -huh. hills. Mm -hmm. Hills. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Thank you, Veronica. Nice job. Okay, the last one. Lily. 
Okay, Lily, tell me about your city. Casi son las mismas que acaban de decir. <laughs> no worries, tell me. Es una respuesta repetida. Okay, there is a city hall. There is a basketball cancha, ¿cómo se pronuncia? You can say field. Field. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a park. There are a lot of schools. There are a lot of churches. There are a lot of, of restaurants. Restaurants, okay, very good. Thank you, Yesenia, very good. Okay, everybody, so imagine, llega un turista a la City Hall y les pregunta, okay, ¿qué hay en esta ciudad? Ya vamos a poder decirles qué hay. Ah, there is, this and this, there are, okay, ya ustedes van a poder explicar qué es lo que hay. Ah, there is a church, okay, ¿y a dónde está la church? Ah, it's on First Avenue next to the park. Ok, la idea es que podamos describir la ciudad y poder dar la dirección de esos lugares. But unfortunately, we don't have more time. Tomorrow we will continue practicing this topic. Ok, so, um, preguntas antes de irnos, everybody? No questions? En negativo, en negativo, teacher, en negativo me queda un poco de duda. En there are, no sé si luego lleva el no. Yes, there exactly. Are no. There are no o there is pregunta, no. Por, por ejemplo, decía, there are no two parks in the town. O sea, no hay dos parques en el pueblo. Está bien formulada. Yes. Imagine, okay. guys, posiblemente en la ciudad solo hay uno. Right? Y le dicen, hey, okay. en tu ciudad hay dos parques. No. Entonces decimos, there are no two parks. Posiblemente solo hay uno, right? O si yo les digo, en tu, en tu ciudad hay muchas escuelas. No, there are no a lot of schools. No, no hay muchas escuelas. So, aunque sea en plural, siempre vamos a llevar la misma estructura. There are no. Okay? okay. Very good. Any other questions that you may have? Teacher, si yo digo, in my yes. city, there are a lot of street dogs está bien formulada casi no lo entendí porque se le escuchó cortado can you repeat in my city there are a lot of street dogs street dogs como perritos de la calle sí perros de la calle perros yes. callejeros solo le colocamos primero el dog y luego el street Dog streets. Mm -hmm. Dog street. Yes, yeah. very good. So, any other one? Tomorrow we will continue discussing this topic, okay? Because right now we don't have more time. Now, just remember, everybody, please work on the platform, okay? And um, remember, <laughs> el ganador del día de hoy que se queda es Xiomara. So, the rest of you, everybody, you can go. Good night and see you tomorrow. Pero Xiomara se queda, please. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Solo si Amara se queda, please. Good night. Good night, Rigoberto. Goodbye. Rigoberto, can you leave the meeting, please? Yo creo que se durmió. <laughs> yeah, I think that he's not there. <laughs> ok, hagamos algo. Voy a añadir una sala y nos vamos a ir para una sala. ¿Le parece? Ok. Very good. Let's see. <laughs> ya yo creo que no está ahí por eso. Ok, let's go. Ok, here we are. <laughs> ok, ¿qué tal, Xiomara? ¿Cómo está?
Bien. Ok, esta reunión es solo un ratito, no worries. Y es solo para aclarar algunas dudas que pueden haber. A veces, entre toda la clase, entre todos los classmates, no queda tiempo para ir aclarando dudas uno por uno. Pero ahorita, este es su momento, así que, I don't know, do you have a question about the class, about the topic, o algo que no le quedó muy claro? Eh, lo que sí a veces me confunde es con lo, con el, lo verbo. Uh -huh. el, el, eh, cuando... Cuando son este las cuestiones negativas, ahí right. me confundo un poco. All right. Pero, okay. ajá, pero pienso que tal vez repasando, eh, tal vez así se me vaya quedando un poco más. Yes. Pero de ahí más pues con las la pronunciación. All el right. de, a veces me confunde el dere con el de. Ah, en, en, you know, es, es muy común, es muy común. De hecho, escuché a algunos de sus classmates que también están teniendo esa misma dificultad entre el there y el they. Algunos me están pronunciando they are y tiene que ser there are. Um, recommendations. Yo sé que la pronunciation es algo que nos va a ir costando porque la pronunciación en inglés es muy diferente a la pronunciation in English. Right? Entonces es cuestión de práctica. My recommendation es que tratemos de exagerarlo, los sonidos. For example, si usted va a pronunciar la palabra there, entonces mi recomendación es, ok, there, exageremos el último sonido, pero exagerémoslo así como que there. Al principio se va a escuchar raro, yes, pero mejor que se escuche raro a que se escuche mal pronunciado. Right. Por ejemplo, eh, there y they. Exageremos el último sonido. They, they. Si vamos a usar un plural, por ejemplo, y digamos que dice car, es en singular, pero si está en plural, exageremos el último sonido y digamos cars, cars. So, vayamos exagerando el último sonido. Eso nos va a ayudar mucho en cuanto a la pronunciation. También, my recommendation es que escuchemos canciones en inglés. ¿Le gusta escuchar música en inglés? Sí. Hace yes? poco empecé con eso. Ah, very good. Pues, ¿Las canta las sí, canciones? Las allí. Ah, very good. Look, algo ah. importante. Escuchemos las canciones. My recommendation is busque las letras. Entonces, eh, escuchamos una canción y buscamos la letra. Y vamos leyendo y vamos escuchando cómo el cantante va pronunciando la palabra y vamos a tratar de imitarlo. Right? Tratemos de escuchar cantantes cuyo inglés sea fácil. No vayamos a escuchar un hip hop o un rap, que eso es cuesta, right? Escuchemos mm -hmm. algo fácil y tratemos de irlo cantando, tratemos de ir imitando la pronunciation. Eso nos va a ayudar como a ir soltando un poquito la lengua y eh, remember que la pronunciation es más como de memoria, ¿ok? Voy, leo una palabra, ya me la aprendí, así que hay que repetirla, repetirla y repetirla hasta que se nos quede grabado completamente cómo es la pronunciation, right? Porque algunas palabras cambian cuando uno las pronuncia y hay otras que no, casi Ex se pronuncian como están escritas. Exactly. Esa es como una diferencia entre el inglés y el español. El español se pronuncia tal y como se lee, pero el inglés no siempre es así. Hay palabras que sí se leen, se pronuncian exactamente como están, pero no todas. Entonces hay que irlas como que practicando, hay que irlas leyendo. All right. Okay. So, en cuanto a los temas que siente difícil, sí, es necesario que repasemos un poquito. Eh, cuando tengan unos minutitos libres, también podemos acceder a la plataforma, repasar los ejercicios o también podemos buscar en internet. Internet es nuestro mejor amigo. Ahí usted puede colocar todo tipo de ejercicios que usted quiera practicar y le va a servir muchísimo. Así que si tiene un ratito libre, ahí en internet podemos buscar. Si usted necesita un tema específico, igual puede mandarme un mensaje y decirme, teacher, quiero practicar este tema. Y yo le puedo buscar algún sitio web en el que usted pueda practicar. ¿Ok? okay. Eh, no sé, tiene otra pregunta, otro tema que le cueste.
lo de las direcciones de, de la avenida. Es que no, no estuvo, no estuvo ayer, right? <ríe> Eh, eh, tuve un poquito de tiempo ahora por la tarde y estuve revisando la plataforma y más o menos pero <ríe> de <manera. ríe> All right. Yes, si tiene un ratito el día de mañana, trate de ver la grabación de la clase, por lo menos el pedacito donde está la instrucción donde uh -huh. explicamos un poquito. Um, mañana vamos a tratar la manera de tomarnos también un, unos minutos para volver a repasar ese tema para los estudiantes que tal vez no les quedó muy claro, porque um, también hubieron otros que no estuvieron y también están sintiendo como que un poquito difícil. Así que vamos a tratar la manera de mañana tomarnos unos minutos para volverlo a repasar. ¿Ok? Sí, perfecto, Very good. Teacher. No, además, pues, eh, viendo las oraciones o o ponerles ahí cuidado a las palabras, no mucho me cuestan. Excelente, very good. <ríe> ok, little by little, right? Poquito a poco, lo que me gusta, Xiomara, es de que pues lo está intentando, right? Yo sé que nos cuesta a todos, nos cuesta, pero ahí está, lo está intentando. Y mire, ya casi terminamos el primer nivel. Así que solo nos restan mm -hmm. tres días. Espero poder seguirla viendo estos tres días en la clase. No se me vaya a desanimar y please tratemos de conectarnos. ¿Ok? A veces no me conecto porque él, como yo trabajo con el otro teléfono, le paso wifi a mi teléfono. Entonces, cuando hace brisa, hace norte, uh -huh. se me va la señal. Y yes. difícilmente ya no se sí. Entonces, el, el, es el internet. Ah, no, es difícil, lo sé. Algo bueno, y, me, y la felicito porque con la plataforma estamos al 10. Super good job, así que veo que con la plataforma estamos bien. Sí, teacher, allí en esa, yo iba pasándolas, pero yo creí que había que terminarlas todas de un solo, todas las hice. <risa> pero, I mean, eso es bueno, ya las hizo, right? Así que, that's good. <risa> Excelente. Ya para el próximo, para el, prim, para el otro módulo, creo que como en la noche es bien difícil. Bueno, para mí, pero para uh -huh. otros creo que es más fácil en la noche. Yo no, creo que para... Fue... Tal vez en otro horario. En eh, horario de la mañana. Ah, ok. All right. Well, puede comunicarse con, con los organizadores del grupo. Tal vez hay un horario disponible en la mañana. I'm not sure. Realmente no sé si habrá un grupo disponible para la mañana. Uh, pero podríamos preguntar a ver si hay disponibilidad y tal vez usted pueda tomar las clases por la mañana. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, ya veremos, no worries. Sí, porque la okay. verdad es que sería bueno que usted continuara y que no, no se quedara, ¿verdad? Solo con el primer nivel. Sí, porque estamos haciendo un esfuerzo. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Okay, do you have any more questions? Uh, no. Okay, well, Xiomara, nos quedamos hasta acá entonces. Espero verla mañana. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Goodbye, goodbye.